and welcome to another episode of the newly named You're the Ref, which Charlie and Craig love the new title of. Uh, it's based on the book You Are the Ref, of course, by uh, Paul Trevelyan and Keith Hackett. And Keith Hackett's the referee extraordinaire who's taking us through all the answers. Please be careful, Craig. Uh, <laughs> you, said each... you said extraordinaire, I, I would say referee. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Just, just, the just referee. Mm-hmm. Uh, to make things easy, each week we've got three scenarios relating to an individual personality within football. And you can remember from last week, if you checked it out, Craig was quite upset that Bakary Sanya was in the book. He sort of said, why is he in the book? Yeah. So I thought, I thought, what's the name in the book that's probably going to annoy Craig the most? So our three scenarios today are based on another former Arsenal player, but one that wasn't actually elite standard. And that man is Manuel Almunia. He had a little stint at West Ham, actually. He, he did. Uh, he did. Yeah. And he was he was awful there as well. But anyway. he, was, he was at Watford as well and uh, was part of the one of the famous playoff goals with saving the penalty and then Watford counter-attacking for Troy Dean to score. I've got to be honest, I know, just on a quick side note, I know that you're obviously Luton fans and that there wasn't sort of a big thing, but that and that Aguero moment, both of those, I literally jumped out of my seat. I, I actually watched that on the TV because I had Sky at the time. When Knockhart missed the penalty and then they went up the other end and scored. Like I, I, I genuinely jumped out. And I had no invested interest in that game, but it's an, <laughs> a, it's an unbelievable moment. Probably about the only good thing that Al Mooney has done. But anyway, Dan, over to you. No problem. Um, so we're going to take you through the three scenarios. Of course, we're bouncing on the back of a three-all draw in the last one where you both got them all right for the first yes. time ever. So hopefully you won't just agree and be boring today and can actually give us some entertainment. <laughs> so we're going to head straight into the first scenario. Are you ready? Well, yes. Who is the book signed who signed the book? Oh, sorry, Craig. The book is not sponsored, but it is signed by <laughs> World Cup final referee <laughs> Howard Webb, who, of course, episode five was based on. And he tells us when signing the book, he signed it with his signature and World Cup final referee rather than what his actual name is printed. <laughs> so there we go. But anyway, we move on to scenario number one. Two players collide head in a high ball. So we're starting right. with through territory. Oh, no. One falls to the ground holding his head. So you call on the physio. Yes. While you are waiting, you notice the big screen showing a replay. The player being treated had been viciously, deliberately elbowed by his opponent. So this is pre-VAR, of course, or from the championship down now. The crowd go wild. (sighs) Having inadvertently seen the incident, what will you do next? Oh, my God. This is such a tough one already. Um... Did, did, did. Oh, did we look at the screen? That's the See, thing. The thing is, is I don't know because I, I I don't know loads about obviously elite refereeing, but I know you have to do quite extensive match reports. Yeah. Now, if you didn't see the incident, I don't know, and your officials didn't, and you weren't alerted by them, I don't know how you could write it in your match report. Like I referred to the giant screen, uh, which can distort stuff. I mean, they talk about it in the cricket, don't they? That they don't always rely yep. on the the zoomed in camera to see if a catch has been made. Oh, I don't know. I don't. Oh. <laughs> Um, I, I think the referee, if as, as you pointed out, if the referee hasn't seen it, he can't give it. No, no, matter, no matter if it's on a, a 24-foot screen, he hasn't seen it. And today, that's his, his the original decision is his decision. But uh, I'm just throwing uh, devil's uh, advocate uh, out there. Look, but Keith Hackett being Keith Hackett, <laughs> I just Keith feel Hackett. like he might say, look, if you can see, if you can use other technology, and obviously I know this is what, 10 years ago, whenever the book was written. If you can use other technology and it helps aid the correct decision, then go with it. I'm not sure. Well, I'm genuinely I'm, not sure. I'm, 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 jury's out on this one for me. I think, it, uh, Keith, going back to when Keith was refereeing, he would look at an old, small JVZ <laughs> TV with a cassette player. Um, I, I don't think, you can't give it. You cannot possibly give anything. I, I think Craig's right. I think you can't give it, which so, annoys me a bit. Um, so you're going to agree? The, yeah, but we'll disagree that, on the next two. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll try and disagree, but we are in agreement. So you're both in agreement that no action can be taken despite the referee seeing it on the big screen? I'm going to go yes. I don't think you can. I, you I can't just don't think it. you physically saw it. I know okay. big screens distort it all. That's what we're yeah. saying. Fair enough. Well, do you remember? Do you remember? Before Cody gives the answer, do you remember the uh, 2010 World Cup where um, Argentina were playing Mexico? And I think Tevez headed it in, but he was in an offside position. And they actually showed on the screen. And then all the Mexican players have seen it. They all protested. The linesman's now seen it. The referee's seen it. And, it had to, and the referee had to stick by his decision and give the goal. Well, you've got a better memory than us because we look... <laughs> don't, so don't remember that, at that. I completely... <laughs> what, I'm going to go with you on that. Go and watch it. Well, no, everyone's got time on their hands for football content, so good suggestion. Let's go to the answer. 
what's Keith saying? Let me go to the right page. That would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, this is a shambles. It is a shambles. But you are both sort of right. As hard as it may be, no, you cannot take any action. You are not allowed to use the big screen in the decision-making process. And the screen should not have shown the incident, which, of course, we know anyway. You should, though, communicate with your assistants to seek their view on the challenge. Hmm. But if they've seen nothing wrong, that is the end of the matter. But, of course, if you're asking them after, that's quite a difficult moral dilemma, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, carry on. Keith Hackett does. Sorry. Uh, the situation would later be looked at by the FA, who could take it further if they were satisfied that none of the officials had witnessed the elbow live. So we were right. Just. We were right. Just. We were just. Right. But we're right. right what right. he's basically saying is going to ask his assistants and give them a little bit of scope to say, oh, yeah, I saw it live, actually, and give the yellow well, already. Say, what I've, he could have gone, I've actually looked on the screen. But then yeah. again, why are they actually showing it on the screen in the first place? Well, that's it's a good like, question. Okay, yeah, another fairy tale from Keith Hackett. But anyway, we'll carry on. But the, the one question I do want to ask about that one, the second one's slightly different, but why on earth was that on Manuel El <laughs> That's a good I, point. I, I generally think it's just Paul just drawing it and, and then he just stuck faces. Like, I, I, so the, the name's he's best at drawing. Yeah, what well, he's good at. Because I don't think he can draw a very good... Um, Steve careful, Grisovich. careful. Steve Grizovich, for example. Or... <laughs> Stan Lazaridis. <laughs> or Stan Lazaridis. <laughs> Ian or... Dowie or something like that. Or Clint Hill. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, let's move on to number two, which is goalkeeper related. Right. So, we start at a penalty shootout. Ooh. I feel like I'm reading a, like an audio book at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm presenting. You, you're on Amazon, so. Yes. Uh, other retailers are available. Uh, at a penalty shootout, the away team's players are convinced that the home keeper is moving off his line before the kicks. So at the next kick, the taker deliberately stops just before striking the ball. And sure enough, the keeper has already sprung off his line. Do you? Oh. Back to multiple choice. And this oh. multiple choice is going to really annoy you. Do you know why? Okay. Is, it, is I, the answer actually in the... In the no, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. A, Pete's done this. No, hang on. A, order a retake. B, rule Ooh. that the penalty has been missed. C, ban the taker from taking any further kicks. Or D, something else. <laughs> oh, not something, something else. else. Oh, it's gosh. something else. Tell me what is something else. Well, you're going to tell me. If right. You don't think any right okay. okay. Well, it can't so be B and C. I, I don't think you can ban a penalty kick for not being taken. I just no. don't think you can do that. I don't. I've never heard that before. So I think that's out. What was C again? Um, the uh, C ban was banned the taker from taking further. So, kicks. so B was it? It was a missed kick, mm-hmm. a missed penalty kick. I mean, you can't do that, surely. He hasn't. The ball hasn't moved on the spot. He hasn't touched it. So those two are out. So it's either a retake or something else. I think. Uh, I've Why seen, would you put see, something the else thing there? Is, the thing is, the rules have changed since this book's come but out. There's, but there's two rules there, isn't there? A, there's the goalkeeper coming off the line, but B, there's the pause in the run-up, and I don't know if that's still a rule, but it used to be, didn't it, where yeah, it's, it's, you, you, you couldn't stop, so... Yeah, but yeah, I think because the rules changed on that specific moment is um, if it, they stop, I think I, I'm going to say I'm using my memory again. I remember Ronaldo's starting room for and then he scored and had to be retaken, and then he scored afterwards, but Nowadays, I think if you start, I think it's now given as an indirect free kick to the go- uh, to the goalkeeper. But in a penalty I shootout, to... I don't know how that would. Um... Do you know what? I'm going to be a bit more lenient to you. So instead of having to tell me what something else is, if you go for something else, I'll just let you pick that as your option. So you can just go A, B, C, or D. So order a retake. The penalty's missed. He can't take further penalties or something else. It's Which are you C. going for? It's not C. I know that for a fact. It's not C. That's not what I asked you. Yeah, but I'm what, what are you going for, Craig? Um, He's buying A-O-B. himself time. Look at him. It's A or B. It's A or B. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to go something else. And I think, actually, that something oh. else is that a different penalty. No, because no, that's banning no. the penalty taker, isn't it? Yeah, it's banning it, yeah. I don't know what else it could be. I don't know can what they, something else they, could be. Can they te- I'm going something else, though, because I don't know why else he'd write it. Because okay. can, they te- can they technically book him? Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. You always want to book someone, don't you, Craig? You always love the cards. So he's like that. He's the first one like that. Give it a... <laughs> no, but can right. you technically book him? That's the thing. I've gone, I've gone D, Craig. What are you going for? Uh, retake. No. Oh, you're, going for, you're going for A. No. I'm going to go for some, uh, no, not something else. I'm going to go for, he's missed it. 
You're it counts as a missed penalty. That's it. That's bold. I'll be honest. That's ballsy. If that pays off, mate, you deserve to win this episode. <laughs> so you're going for B, definitely, Craig. You're uh, looking at answering. I, I'm locking it in, uh, Chris Tarrant. I'm locking it in. Thank you. Uh, and Charlie, you're going for D something else. Yeah, I can't think what, but I don't know why else he'd have written it. Okay, well let's get the let's get the first thing out of the way. You're both wrong. <laughs> is it A? <laughs> and Craig should have stuck with his original answer because it ah. is a good for a retake. Now we've got plenty of description here as well from Keith. So you must first warn the goalkeeper not to move off his line again. Charlie, if you could stop playing a uh, uh, no, no. championship <laughs> manager, that would be lovely. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> and then have a firm word with the kick taker too. You are the ref, not him. So look, he's made me say the phrase that he doesn't want me to <laughs> uh, say. Uh, you're the ref. Right again. No, you're, you're the ref. <laughs> hey, you're the ref. We're not doing this again. <laughs> the taker has no excuse for not taking the kick because the advantage is always with him. If the goalkeeper had saved his kick illegally, you would order a retake. But if he had scored, you would allow the goal. Either way, the law is enforced. Is it? That's, that was a stupid question. I'm sorry. That was a stupid question. Well, thankfully, it wasn't my decision to write those questions. No, 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 no. What was the point of something else? You know what this means now, Craig? Decider! (laughs) What was the point of something else? Oh, I just don't know. It's thrown us off the scent. So, are you ready for the decider? Yes. Let's see if this one relates to Manuel Almunia. So, a home team player passes back towards a teammate, but the ball strikes the heel of an opponent and flies forward to the home team star striker who is in an offside position. The striker races away unchallenged and scores, but the keeper insists he was offside. The striker says he was played on. What is your decision? We love offside ones. Right, go on. I think I can nail this one. Go on. Uh, he's offside. Okay. So, so it was, it, Because the reason why I'm saying he's offside is because the uh, defender has actually, it, it's come off the defender. It's not like he's actually played the pass where it's gone straight to their striker. So it's hit off him and he, it's gone to uh, the striker. So for me, he's offside. Okay. So who was playing the ball? The defender was trying to play the ball. No, the attacker, was play- the attacker was trying to play a back heel backwards to an opponent. It cannoned off a heel and went flying through to the striker. Oh, if he's already in an offside position, he's offside. Yeah, if he's already, oh, is, you're going to get another draw here because if he's already off, he's off. So you're both it, in a it, you're both he, in very clear. Oh, no, hang on. No, 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 hang on. Because... No, 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 no. No, go on. You go first, Craig. Go on. No, because the defender hasn't actually played it. If it's hit off him and it's gone straight to the striker, and it's, it's not his fault. It's not the defender's fault. If, no, the defender... but the, if the ball was going backwards, I think he's on side. If the re- initial pass was going backwards from the, the, his but teammate... But no, he, no, he was doing a back heel. Who was doing a back heel? The, the attacker. Oh, uh, he was trying to pass it back. That's the key. He was trying oh, to pass it back. Right. Oh, well, what? Oh, so the okay. attacker was trying to pa- pass it back. Backwards. Yeah. But now it's hit, the, the, it's hit, hit heel the... and flown forward. Ah, oh, and that's a Then he's thing. onside. He's onside, definitely. Uh, 100%. Okay. It's a goal. I got tell you now, it's a goal. I've never yeah. been more adamant, definitely. Yeah. Because the ball's gone backwards and he was, yeah. You weren't, you weren't very adamant 10 seconds ago. <laughs> no, no, now, but now, I, I've, now you've I, read now it. You, yeah, properly. Um, yeah, I think it's a goal as well. Oh, Craig. <laughs> no, I, th- I generally think it's a goal. <laughs> so you're both going for a goal. Yeah, because the, ball so the ball's gone back. backwards when he's offside. And sorry, he rose in offside position. The ball's gone backwards. Yeah. And he's hit the defender, then he's offside, the, I'm the sure. The ball hasn't gone backwards. The ball was intended to be passed backwards. Oh. Um, so he's, he's just adding new words now. <laughs> but the, 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 the attacker has passed it backwards, but it has hit a defender's heel and gone forward from the original player. Then he's definitely onside. Goal. goal You're goal. both going goal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it is always nice to finish an episode of You're the Ref. With incompetence. <laughs> no goal. Oh, what? Really? <laughs> Let me explain. I was so sure about that. Let me explain. Well, the fact that you changed your answer three times in the middle <laughs> suggests otherwise. But <laughs> let's go through the reason. The home player in the offside position has an unfair advantage. So must be penalised as stated in the law. The moment the ball touches or is played by one of his team, played on, hasn't existed in the laws of the game since 1978. The term oh, played on. Right. So, even before Keith's time, this had changed. And you two are, are, are so, sure? so are outdated. Sure? <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly thought the rule was it had to be played square or forward for you to be offside. Because yeah. if he... 
Well, get, yeah. what, what have we got to remember is well, the ball did get played forward. It doesn't matter if it was intended to be. It did. What, what, thing is, what we got to remember this book mm. is what ten years old. Ten. Well, let's say it's ten years old. It's probably on the back of the book. What, what year the book was out? But remember, the offside law has changed quite a lot since that time. Yeah, but even then, I still think you'd get away with that now by the sounds of it. That that's front. I, think, you, know I think you can get. I think it'd be a goal in today's world, but. I don't, know, ago, I don't think it would have been. I, it would have been offside. He just said, played on with ruled out in 78. <laughs> <laughs> we were born in 1978. Football wasn't no, right. Do you know what? I, I've learned a lot there because I genuinely, genuinely thought that if the ball was going backwards, you couldn't be really go offside, even if you were ahead of the man. So, And one more stat for the day. Basically, one I'm going to get my, I'm gonna get my line out to, to put his flag up if that happens then. <laughs> go, go for it. it, and it is, is it Manuel Munoz's middle name? Because no, it's, me- it's his actual surname. Oh, OK, right. Because Howard Webb's middle name was Melton, wasn't it? Yes. yes. And Manuel Almunia's surname is Rivero. <laughs> so <laughs> why is it not Rivero on the shirt? I do not know. So what's so Manuel is his first name or Almunia? Manuel Almunia Rivero is his name. That's bizarre. Why would you not have Rivero on the shirt? Then again, Javi Hernandez has Chicharito on his back of his shirt. Yeah. So you're not interesting, are we? Well, that was another session of incompetence for me and you, Craig. And... Uh, what so how can we get from for the arrogance, the arrogance score. of me particularly going? No, he's, it's a goal. I know it is. <laughs> how can we get a perfect score last week to an absolutely zero? <laughs> no, we got one. Yeah. We got one. You got, you got the first one, but yeah. otherwise it was, it, it was shambolic, Craig. Let's not cover it up. You know. <laughs> well, I think, uh, uh, to be honest, I, I think the questions were very clear this week. Uh, well, thank you. You can take your complaints to the two people who have tried to sue you recently. So that was it for another episode of You're the Ref, which I've got right this time. Thank you very much for watching as always. If you enjoyed the episode, please put a thumbs up on the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for regular content. <laughs> Come and check out our uh, recent exploits for Football Manager between myself and Craig, which Charlie will be involved in soon. And of course, there's a few other episodes about as well. Uh, you can follow us on Spotify as well and on Twitter at HonestFootball3. And hopefully we'll see you next time for a bit more fun as Charlie shows you his keyboard.